Hey, Fuel Up fam, welcome to the Weekly Fuel Up. I'm so excited that all of you are here. Thank you for joining me today. I look a hot mess because we just got back from the gym and it is dinner time. So I have not shared a recipe with you in a couple of weeks because we've been focusing on some different items of business along with uh, the fitness aspect of our health journeys. But today it is going to be a delicious recipe day. So I've got um, a very fall transitioning recipe. Um, yesterday was the first day of fall, and I don't know about you, but I'm in full fall mode. Like, full fall mode. So excited. So, let's get into this recipe. I cannot wait to share with you, and uh, you don't need a whole lot. So, win-win. Let's go. Okay, let's talk about this recipe. Now, I don't really have a name for this recipe um, because it's just something that I've just kind of thrown together. I think once upon a time, like several years ago, I found a recipe that was kind of like this and I've kind of just tweaked it along the way. Um, and honestly, I forgot the recipe. Um, I just literally change it every single time that I cook this recipe. So I'm gonna call it a acorn squash or acorn, if you're from Bama like we are, acorn squash turkey bake let's call it that so i have an acorn squash now this is like the big babyest little bittiest little acorn squash um it came in our misfits box if you're unfamiliar with the misfits box i will post the um what's up with that down in the description box below but i got a little bitty one this week which is so cute so i'm gonna use this because there's only two of us and we don't need a huge one so i'm gonna cut this in half we're gonna roast it 99% fat free ground turkey. I've got one medium to small zucchini. I've got some celery. Now we've used several stalks of this so it looks a little sad, but we're gonna use some of this. We've got one garlic clove. I've got some organic green onion. I've got one organic gala apple, and this is a small one. And I've got some sage. We've got some rosemary. I've got some thyme here and some baby spinach and arugula. If you don't like either one of those, just use one or the other. It really doesn't matter. I just like to throw some greens in. Kale also works, I've done that before. We've got some yummy uh, walnuts. You can also use almonds or pecans. I just chose walnuts because that's what we have. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of avocado oil because it does not uh, burn so it's a very high heat oil so I like to use this one so I'll turn you around show you all everything that we've got here um, after I've thrown it down it's kind of messy but that's what we're working with today. here's everything we got all of our ingredients not gonna take a whole lot just a few things and we're gonna get this dinner all crunk up I'm so excited it's gonna be so good okay sweet friends this is how we're gonna do this so I'm gonna take my acorn squash I'm actually gonna grab a bigger cutting board. I thought this one would do the trick, but it's a little bit small. I did think of one more thing that I did not add to our ingredients. I'm going to do a small onion and dice that up to go in with this as well. I've already got a large cast iron skillet here on medium to low heat on the lower side, more on the lower side. And I've got my oven heating up to about 400 to 425 degrees. I would typically go a little more like 440 degrees with the oven, but because this one is so small, I don't think it's going to take that long so first thing to cut this is you want a really good knife you don't have to have a mach machete like this um, it's not a machete by the way um, but you want a really good knife so I'm gonna cut off the stem side I'm gonna cut off the bottom side and then I'm gonna cut it directly in half and we're gonna take the seeds out now I'm really interested as this is a very small acorn squash I'm really interested to see if it actually has any uh, like a whole lot of seeds we got that out of the way and look how cute. You could also like top this and decorate if you wanted to decorate your dish. Now I'm gonna turn it, you've got one side that's kind of smaller. I'm gonna turn it on the, uh, the more surface area side, you see what I mean? And I'm gonna cut it directly in half. And then we open up and you see it does have a few seeds. So what I'm gonna do is take a spoon and scoop all those seeds out, get rid of them, and then we'll move on to our next step. Super, super simple.
All right, y'all, so we're all set. Check it out. All done, nice and cleaned out, and they look beautiful, and they smell amazing. I know that may sound weird to you, but they smell amazing to me. So what I'm gonna do is take our avocado oil here, and I'm gonna drizzle, drizzle, just a little bit in one side, and uh, probably about, I don't know, I think that's probably like two teaspoons maybe, not even a full tablespoon. And I'm just gonna use my fingers and pour a little bit in the other one and then in this one and I'm just gonna rub it down really, really well because I want to make sure that it's nice and coated so that when it goes into the oven and our oven just dinged on us and let us know that it's ready. So you wanna make sure it's nice and coated so that when it bakes, it bakes nice and beautifully because we're actually gonna use these kind of like bowls. So we're gonna take our meat mixture that we're gonna put into our cast iron skillet. And once our squash is done, we're gonna actually fill it and we're gonna serve it as like a little bowl. So you're gonna eat the squash as you eat the rest of the dish and it all goes together so beautifully and it tastes absolutely delicious, y'all. So fall, so simple. And if you have more than two people like us, grab two acorn squash so if you have like four people um grab two cut them in half and then you've got four slices and you're good to go you can also add rice with this if you wanted like an extra carb or potatoes or something on the side i'm not doing that because we just have a bunch of stuff together and we're gonna throw some salad greens with it because i feel like this is filling enough for us um but you do what works best for you that's what we're gonna do tonight so we're gonna pop these into the oven a bit of salt and pepper on top to make sure um that they have a little bit of seasoning before they go in because I don't want to take away from the seasoning and everything that's going to go in with our ground turkey. So let's get these babies in the oven. All right, friends, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a very small onion. Um, you can see by, my hands are pretty small, but this is a pretty small onion. And I'm gonna dice this up really well. I've got my little trash bowl to the side. If you've watched me cook for a while, or if you know, um, you know, kind of how I like to do things, I like to have a little bowl to the side, mixing bowl, cereal bowl, just some sort of bowl um, beside me so that I can throw the little excess stuff and the little trash pieces that I don't need in this bowl and it makes your cleanup so much easier. So I'm going to slice this onion in half. I'm going to turn it on its side again and then I'm just going to go down the side and make fairly thin little spots. This little piece on the top's got to go. Fairly thin little slices all the way down. And then I'm gonna turn it around yet again, and we are going to slice it and dice it. So I'm gonna turn the whole thing this way so that you can see pretty well. Now, it doesn't have to be necessarily like perfect or anything like that. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and chopped and for the most part, everything is pretty even. So I'm gonna slide these out of the way. do our garlic the same way. We're gonna mince the garlic really well. So I'm gonna take this, pop it right on top and that will bring that little paper part away so you don't need that. Get it out, get it away. And this is a pretty big one. So if you have smaller garlic cloves, I would recommend that you get maybe two. Uh, but because this one's pretty big, I'm only gonna use one. I'm gonna mince this up really, really well. And I'm actually gonna pop the garlic into the skillet first. Let it get nice and fragrant for about, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds at most. And then we'll pop the onion in as well and we'll let everything get nice and tender and continue to stir with a little bit of our avocado oil before we throw in anything else. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm gonna keep you kind of low so that you can see everything that's going on. So I'm gonna take my olive, or olive oil or avocado oil works, but I'm gonna use avocado because this is higher heat and it's not gonna burn. It's gonna keep everything nice and fragrant. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this in. This one comes from Trader Joe's, but um, you can, I think this is Trader Joe's. It may have come from they come from Sam's. I honestly can't remember. One of those. But you can get it pretty much any grocery store. I'm going to go ahead and turn my fan on. So I put about a tablespoon of our oil in the pan. 
Now you don't have to use a cast iron, but as a southern woman, I love my cast iron skillets. I'm gonna add the garlic first. You can hear that nice little sizzle. So I'm gonna add that first, and my heat is on about a uh, little under medium heat, so it's low to medium heat. And I'm gonna squash this around just a little bit until it gets fragrant. What I mean by fragrant, if you're not familiar with what that means, until you can smell it kind of loud. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna throw my onions in now, make sure we got them all. And I'm just gonna swirl those around, and I'm gonna let those get nice and coated with the oil as well. And then I'm gonna spread them out a little bit. And we're gonna let those hang out in the skillet while we get everything else chopped up and ready to go. So we're gonna do that now. Next step, we're gonna take our small zucchini and we're gonna chop the ends off of both sides. Put that in our little bowl over there. And I'm gonna slice these down into fairly chunky pieces, if you can tell how chunky those are, because I'm gonna dice them and I don't want them to be too thin. And then I'm just gonna take them and stand them up kind of like that. And I'm gonna slice them in half. And then I'm gonna dice twice. So they're pretty nice and chunky little squares. And all I'm gonna do is while these onions are going, I'm gonna throw these in with the onions and the garlic into our skillet, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing to the apple. And I personally like to cut slices around my apple so I don't get the core. So the core is in the center, I can just throw that away. I don't have to worry about it. Make sure you get all the little stem pieces off of your apple so you're not getting any of that. Now here's where it gets kind of uh, personal uh, preference wise. If you don't like the skin of the apple, take it off. I prefer to keep it on because I feel like that is a lot of the nutrition that you're kind of cutting off there and I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to keep the skin on, but if you want to, um, you know, change that up and take the skin off, uh, you can do that. Totally up to remember anything that you're following of any of my recipes literally is a personal preference. So if you don't like a certain thing in it, just change it up. It's your meal, it is your dinner, so you have to like it and you have to make sure that you enjoy the flavors that are coming out of it. So do that and I promise it's gonna turn out just fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take these, dump those in with the zucchini, the apple, and the onion. I'm gonna give this a good stir and then we're gonna do the same thing with our celery. We're gonna slice that up and dice it and then we're gonna turn our heat up a little bit too. I lost an apple. Okay friends, so I'm gonna take my heat and I'm gonna turn it about medium heat so it was a little bit on the low side, which is where we wanted it then. But now I'm gonna take it up a little bit and I'm just gonna stir all of this up together. So you've got the apples, the onion, the um, I almost said cauliflower, but it's not. The garlic in there, and then the zucchini. Really nice, so I'm gonna give those a little stir and then a little shake to make sure they're nice and evened out. Also, disclaimer, friends. <laughs> I'm not a chef, um, and I will never claim to be a chef. I am a household cook of my own family. So if there's anything that you see that I might be doing wrong, don't judge me. I didn't go to school for this. Um, I just enjoy taking care of the two of us um, and our future family and cooking well in our own house. So I am a self-taught cook. Um, along with my grandmother helping me out as well. So, just a little disclaimer there. We did add in our celery, so you see everything looks pretty green right now, but we're gonna change that a little bit. So I'm gonna let the apples and everything get a little bit more tender, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Now, one thing I love to add into this recipe too is if you have any fresh cranberries or 
dried cranberries that are sweetened only with the fruit and no added sugars. Add those into this. It's absolutely delicious. I could not find any in my grocery stores. I checked all the ones that I typically go to and I couldn't find any in our area. So if you find some of those, pop those babies in here. Oh my goodness, that little sweetness of it will be delicious. So everything's nice and tender. I think it's a perfect time to start adding in our ground turkey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make just like a well in the center, just a hole in the center, which for short means I'm just going to move all of the veggies out of the way and make a big circle in the center that I can just plop this ground turkey right in the middle. Now, if you don't want to use ground turkey, you can use ground chicken if you prefer, but I think it works perfect and it makes it very fall if you use turkey. So I recommend using turkey. Now I'm just gonna break this up just a little bit. You can see it's kind of like one big pancaked piece of turkey in the center. And this is gonna be ground. So I wanna break it up a little bit. And I'm gonna let it cook just slightly, maybe for probably three minutes, two to three minutes, something like that. I don't want it to be completely cooked. Uh, but I do want to move it around a little bit and let it get a little bit of white color in it. This is really lean ground turkey. It's 99% fat free. So it's going to be really, really white um, in color. It's not going to be as brown uh, because it doesn't have any fat. So I'm going to let it cook just a little bit. Just swirling it around with the veg. You notice I haven't added any spices yet. And there is... We lost a piece of zucchini, that's okay. Um, that's because I wanna let everything, all the flavors kinda work together a little bit first. Personal preference before I add any of my spices. All right, now I'm gonna make another little well in the center and add another tablespoon of the avocado oil. I don't want anything to burn, which it shouldn't, but just to be nice and safe, of course, you're adding in those healthy fats too, so that's important. So about now, as we're gonna start adding in our spices, so I'm gonna start with the organic sage. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sage. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of our rosemary. I don't know if that's gonna come off, but I can kind of eyeball it because I can see it. But it might be easier if I take it off. There we go. All right, about a teaspoon of the rosemary, and then about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of the thyme. I'm gonna do about a half, and then I'm gonna mix all of this together very, very carefully. Because you don't want your spices to go directly to the bottom of your skillet because they're just gonna burn at the bottom of your skillet. You want them to kind of soak into your ingredients in the skillet. It smells like Thanksgiving in here, y'all is smelling good all right so we're gonna let this hang out on the skillet for a couple of minutes i'm going to continue to stir it occasionally to make sure that nothing burns and everything is cooking completely through and then all we have to do is wait on our egg and squash that's in the oven at the moment so super simple i'll be back with you let's check it out Everything looking real good. It smells absolutely delicious. This would be the moment that I would add in my cranberries if I had them, which makes it so, so good. All right, so this is all cooked and done. I'm gonna leave it over the eye to continue to kind of heat and cook pretty well, but I'm gonna turn everything off. Our acorn squash looks like it's pretty much done. I'm gonna give it a maybe like five more minutes just to make sure and then we'll be ready to serve y'all this is gonna be so good Okay, so they're all out of the oven and I'm gonna go ahead very carefully, make sure you do this with the glove, it's gonna be hot, and I'm gonna flip them over very, very carefully. Sometimes they like to stick, so I may have to do this with two hands. Oh, look at that, perfect. They're nice and tender, just enough color. Oh my gosh, do you see the steam? 
They smell so good. So we've got one more thing to do with our skillet here and then we'll be ready to serve. We do have to add in our walnuts and we're gonna add in some of our baby spinach and arugula. Now, you can add this in, you know, after um, you serve it and put it on the side. I'm gonna add a little bit in just because I want it to be a little bit uh, more green, just for personal preference. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a handful and add it right on in, and then I'm just gonna mix it in together. Same thing with our walnuts. I'm gonna grab a pretty good handful of the walnuts. Mr. Fuel Up Wellness has shown up. The garage door is opening, he's coming in the house. So I'm just gonna crunch probably about a fourth of a cup of these up into here and mix them in to the entire dish. So you get a little bit of crunch in there along with your veggies. All right, y'all, so it's time to plate. So here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take one slice of this acorn squash. I'm gonna place it right on the top of the plate and make sure everything's nice and folded together. All those flavors are together. And then either with a spoon or with some kitchen tongs, I'm just gonna place it right on inside, just like that. Super simple, super easy. You can plate this with some salad greens on the side or potatoes, or this would be an awesome dish for your Thanksgiving meal. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Super easy, I keep saying that, but it really is super easy. All the flavors, it smells like Thanksgiving in here. I just said that a second ago. So we hope you enjoy it. If uh, you try this recipe, please let us know. You can use our hashtag with the weekly fuel up or you can use our hashtag uh, fuel up wellness so we can see it. Also tag us at Madison underscore fuel up wellness so I can see your recipe. I wanna know what you think. I wanna know if your family enjoys this and we will see you next week. Have a great week and fuel up.